Welcome to another installment of Yes, We're Here. I'm Meredith Morakovitz, Nancy Newman, hanging out. Nancy, how have you been? Meredith, hello, my friend. How are you? I feel like it's been forever. What have you been up to? We have not seen each other since we were wearing our Yes University graduation robes. So how yes. have you been staying safe, Nancy? What have you been up to since this quarantine or self-quarantine has been underway? Yeah, it's a trying time for all of us, isn't it, Meredith? It's just so much about staying safe and thankful and all of that stuff. I'm very grateful that our Yes family is doing well and we are going to continue to do our part. Yes, we're here. How about you? Are you going out much? Not much. No, I've been trying to stay in. I've been trying to do my part. I'm going to have to go get some groceries relatively soon, but I'm trying to make do with what I have right now. I do have a balcony here, so I'm very fortunate in that regard. So technically, I've been outside. I just haven't been out, out in the real world, if you understand what I'm saying. Yes, and, and for purposes of full disclosure, we discussed this briefly. We truly may get interrupted by a Whole Foods delivery man. So I'm just putting that out there. It could happen at any moment. <laughs> I like it. Well, what's on the list? What were the top items on the list? Today, you're like, you know what? I really? Eggs. <laughs> eggs and bananas. That's the big thing. I thought, do I go out? Do I go out there? Do I brave it? Because it's very difficult finding a delivery time, too. And I'm so grateful for all these workers that come to your door and, and service us that way, you know? No doubt about it. A lot of people out there are still working in different capacities, whether it be the people on the front lines, we thank all of you, or the people that, like you said, Nancy, are making sure everyone's well fed, providing them with deliveries, the people that are still working at grocery stores and other essential stores. We thank you uh, for being out there so everybody is able to get what they need. So <laughs> you're talking a little bit about, you know, missing Yankees baseball. What do you miss most about Yankees baseball right now, Nancy? Just all of it, right, Meredith? The excitement, the day-to-day, -day, our colleagues for sure, the players, the fans, the entire thing. This is what we chose to do with our lives. Therefore, we all love it. And how could we not miss it? And it really is a cliche, but it's so true. Baseball is a companion. It's with you every single day. You set your life around it. There's a couple of friends that used to say to me, you mean, you're not working this game, but you're still going to watch? I said, well, is there anything else you'd rather do? <laughs> That's the appointment. It's the appointment of our lives, right? So I miss everything. How about you? You know, I just miss being out there. You miss the uh, sound of the crack of the bat. You miss the excitement, the competition as you watch the team and the schedule unfold. And, you know, it's one of those things where you're just so regimented and so used to being there every day. Yes. I had been down at spring training for the most part the entire time. So I had already ramped up to 120 miles an hour and then it was a very quick deceleration and everything ended. So uh, it's just, you know, you miss your coworkers, you miss the job and very you miss much. just being out there at the ballpark. Now yes. you I miss the studio crew so, so much, yes. Now you were at the uh, George M. Steinbrenner Field for a couple of days checking out spring training. Was there anything that you took away just from the short time that you were there? All kinds of things. It's, it's a different culture every single season, right? With the, the players changing and Garrett Cole being there. There was one particular day where I happened to be by the dugout and the guys were lining up to take BP. And Garrett Cole was there with a few of them. Luke Boyd was there, if I remember correctly. Tyler Wade as well. And there he was. He was just putting on a verbal clinic, talking about guys that he didn't like to face and why, breaking things down, so generous, and they were riveted. I was too, and I thought, wow, this is really incredible. What a guy to be a leader on this team right now. That was, that was the biggest impression I came away with. That was special. I had reached out to a lot of people that had covered Garrett Cole in the past and unanimous, unanimously it was, this is a great guy to deal with. He's a professional. You'll be impressed by his answers. He's extremely thoughtful in his responses. And I'm like, okay, I want to believe what everybody's saying, but you know, the proof is in the pudding, but they weren't wrong. Doesn't disappoint in an interview. He's very gracious with his time and you can tell he loves it. He throws every pitch with conviction and there's a reason behind 
every one of them and you can see other pitchers kind of gravitating towards him wanting to learn his approach why he does things a certain way and you think when things finally get underway not only is he going to be a joy to watch but he can certainly have an impact on the rest of that pitching staff nancy oh yes and he's committed he bought a house not far from here in connecticut and he has put down the roots and he is here for the long haul and he's already all in now you have some adorable nieces right Oh my gosh, yes, thanks Meredith for talking about them. How have, you, how have you been keeping in touch? Have you been having FaceTime sessions or what have you guys been doing? FaceTime crazy. Our awesome producer, Blake Shear, she called me right after I finished FaceTiming with them yesterday. They're 12, eight and six. They're so adorable. I think my story is probably still rolling right now, but their little faces, <laughs> they are just, they light up my life. So I don't have kids of my own, so they're my kids. And they're, all, they're in Milwaukee. Um, and you know, the Yankees were going to play the Brewers this year and be in Milwaukee in May. And I had it all set up. That might be whole food sky. No, it's not. We're good. So, <laughs> oh, I had it all set up that I was going to go down there and we were going to attend the games and all that stuff. That'll have to wait. You know, but we're privileged to be able to even talk about these kinds of things, but I love them, love them, love them. And you, you and your family, how about those family road trips? That's a good time. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Last year, for those of you who don't know, my mom and my dad came out on the West Coast swing with us. And my brother lived in Santa Monica at the time. We have two brothers. One lives in Pennsylvania, one lived in California. The one in California met us. And we started in Napa, went to San Francisco, which is where we stay when the Yankees are playing the Oakland A's. From there, they drove down to Los Angeles for the Dodgers Yankee series. And then I basically forced them to go to Seattle against their will, but they're happy that they went. They keep <laughs> saying to date that uh, that was the best vacation they've ever had. So, oh, what a great daughter. Okay, so, well well done. Nice. Nice. I don't know. <laughs> but no, it's, uh, it's great to be able to spend time with family. And then I have one of my best friends has three children, two little girls, and it was one of their birthdays. So I've been doing a lot of FaceTiming with them, some virtual dance parties. If you haven't tried it yet, Nancy. With uh, friends or strangers? With the girls, with uh, their now six and three. Oh, so okay. That's we'll turn on idea. some music. We have played virtual games, but virtual dance party, that sounds good. Virtual dance party, throw on a party dress and get to work. <laughs> Do they show you all your all their toys and their drawings and go through all of that? It's so good. Toys, drawings, Aunt Mare, will you please watch us? It's a lot of watch this, watch this, doing cartwheels, doing gymnastics. Do you want to yes. try it? I'm like, I'm, I'm a little too old for that. <laughs> no, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Yesterday, the littlest one made her bed by herself. That was big. Big day, <laughs> big day. Okay, so speaking of a big day, what's on tap for the rest of your day, Nancy? Uh, after Whole Foods Guy, um, some kind of exercise. I try to do something every single day. I have a Pilates machine. That's what I end up doing most days. I like to go outside though. I like to be out there, but you know, we have to sort of adjust right now, you know? Um, and uh, maybe some classics. Uh, I, oh yeah, you wanted to talk about um, the early years. Um, yes, you, you were one of the first employees at Yes Network. You came about six months after the network started. I was yes. gonna ask you your favorite story from that first year when things were just coming together? Um, there's many behind the scenes that of course we can't tell <laughs> on camera. <laughs> 2003 also was the first, uh, was the Aaron Boone season. And that was incredible. He actually was one of my very first interviews when I started at Yes, which was amazing. I got to know Flash then. He was my go-to guy in the clubhouse. I've told this story before too. Um, he was my go-to guy. Uh, in the clubhouse, so, you know, tell me about Moose. So, and he was great. He was great. I knew he was destined for TV. We used to have those conversations back then. I thought, you are definitely doing TV when you're done, right? You know, come on. <laughs> yeah. Well, he does a great job at it. And I feel like this is just the tip of the iceberg. I know we're going to be doing another one of these soon. So we're going to dive and we're gonna into turn the more. tables where I'm going to be asking you these things. <laughs> oh, no, I don't like it on this side. I don't it's like that. I mean, on that it's side. All right. Well, till <laughs> next time, I hope your Whole Foods gets there soon. And stay safe, Nancy. Yes, he didn't make it on camera. He missed out. <laughs> Bye, everyone.